Welcome back to episode 5, Debian. In the uh, last episode, we sort of came to a point where in order for us to get any real work done with Linux on the PlayStation 2, we needed to change distros to Debian so we can use uh, apt-get to uh, download some libraries and updates, etc. So this video will go into the installation process a bit more um, than the last video for those who want to follow some of the steps required to get Debian and running on the PlayStation 2. Okay, so to get us started, we're going to prepare the drive like we did in the Black Rhino Linux install video, which uh, I'll just do this from the live DVD in Black Rhino, and there's nothing too exciting about partitioning the um, drives at this point, as we've already been through it. So um, I'll just show you exactly how I've got it set up. Um, so we'll set up our first partition, which I'm going to make as a 128 megabyte swap, uh, followed by a primary um, drive or root file system drive. Make this one like 20 gigs or something. Generally, before you um, start doing all this sort of stuff, you really need to have the drive readable by PlayStation. So you can actually do this, uh, like I showed you in the first video, using Open PS2 Loader to activate the drive, and then going into the uh, U-Launch Hard Drive Manager and formatting the drive once the drive is uh, recognised there. Another way you can do it is through HD Loader, uh, and that way you can actually load up your games and anything else you want to do, and then you use the PlayStation 2 Partitioner uh, F-Disk program here to add the Linux partitions. Um, but you can do that anyway in Linux without having to do use the uh, PlayStation 2 um, F-Disk program, which is specially built um, for Black Rhino Linux and Debian. Okay, all that's left to do here now is to mount the USB drive I have plugged in with the Debian files on it and let's unpack and install the MIPS version of Debian to this PlayStation. BFAT, never heard of BFAT. The next step is to copy all the Debian files from the USB drive um, to our hard drive. So we'll grab everything that I've downloaded from the uh, Kloader website and uh, some of the other forums. So there are a few different versions of this um, Linux kernel. I think I've got like 2.4, 2.6. The VEM11 version is 2.6354. And then I think we've got, yeah, 2.6.35.14, which I'll get into a little bit later. So you can see here too, also, we've got Debian Lenny uh, Mipsel version 1 and there's version 2. So today we'll do, uh, in this video, version 1 and uh, in a later video we can look at version 2. The only thing that 
I've really noticed between the two versions is some of the configuration files need to be done manually on version 1. Um, essentially this is all fixed up in version 2. There's probably a couple of other small fixes for the distribution there as well. For me this version 11 um, kernel doesn't really work on my console, uh, especially when I first started playing with it. But we'll get into that a little bit down the track too. Um, so let's open up the fstab um, and make the changes to it so we can actually boot the system up. And from USB, which is SDA2 in this case, and an EXT uh, or extended 2 file system. Now with all the modules and everything all unpacked, Let's open up the uh, F-Stab and make the appropriate changes to it so we can actually boot the system from USB, which is SDA2 in this case, and a uh, extended 2 file system. Uh, once that's done, all we need to do is unmount everything and reboot and go back to K-Loader. Back to Kloader and let's try and load the version 11 kernel with the USB image. Apparently um, TG BIOS here and the uh, USB libSD patch needs to be enabled. Uh, but I'm going to run with these disabled for now. And um, we'll try it as root like in um, Black Rhino Linux. Even though it's supposed to be new root, I just want to show you what happens when you don't have these settings um, correct. And uh, while this is loading, I was actually thinking about trying to mount my SD memory card adapter, um, the MX4 SIO, as the main drive. I think the kernel loader needs to have some updates added to it in order for it to uh, use these SD readers. But I think it's a cool idea. You could have a portable um, Linux system with you instead of having to muck around with old hard drives and all that sort of stuff. So it's booting up now and you'll see here that it's unable to mount the Debian on um, the Debian drive on the factory settings for the first time. So we'll have to tweak some settings back in the uh, K-Loader. So let's try the 2.635.14 kernel. finds all the drives there. You can see them uh, SDA 1, 2 and 3. On the third I actually have uh, Black Rhino I think was installed on this particular drive at the time of this uh, filming or screen capture here. And you'll see all these modules you know, fatal errors, no files. These modules don't exist for this uh, MIPS build. Even though the uh, kernel here, woohoo, makes it to the Debian login screen, uh, none of the modules are compatible with the um, 2635.4 ones that specifically built for the VM11 kernel. So, this allows me to get into Debian you can have a look around and, and do things, but you cannot connect to the internet. So be sure to uh, join us on the next Life of the Linux on the PlayStation 2 adventure. You'll get to see a lot of my failings, like here, when I couldn't uh, access the hard drive for some reason and ended up in the emergency shell and all sorts of funny shenanigans that just sort of stressed me out a little bit during the development. So next time we're going to look at some of these uh, peripherals and a couple of other consoles I've picked up over the last few weeks that need a little bit of TLC. Uh, maybe we can have some Linux adventures uh, with those guys too. Probably a bit more into the hardware side as I did manage to blow pretty much every fuse on this console. Luckily I've got about four or five of them. 
So if you like the series, cool, like and subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, if not, that's fine. I'm going to go have a beer with this guy anyway. But uh, to those who watch it, all five of you, uh, I'll have more content coming pretty shortly after this video's release. Um, have a good weekend.